All right, guys, what are the odds that a U.S. Naval Strike Group, a classified autonomous vessel, a 6.8 earthquake, bunker fuel operations, high frequency ionospheric heating campaigns, all intersect at the exact moment a hurricane explodes into historical catastrophe? All right, let's get right into it. What's up, Sky Watchers? What is up indeed? Monday, October 27th, 2025. Hurricane Melissa and the Caribbean Electromagnetic Battleground. What if I told you Hurricane Melissa wasn't just a storm? What if the real story wasn't the wind or the rain or the category number, but the power structure swirling around it? Because Melissa didn't simply strengthen, it erupted. A sudden drive toward 913 millibars sustained winds blasting past 160 miles an hour and gusts over 200 miles an hour, one of the most violent intensifications in Caribbean history, a storm tightening so fast it defied the standard playbook. But storms don't evolve in isolation anymore, not in the modern world. Hurricane Melissa may have exposed something much larger something engineered, something operational. Lightning activity surged to over 1,000 strikes per hour, the mark of a supercharged atmosphere. That kind of power doesn't come from a warm ocean water alone. All right, let's take a look beneath Melissa. The bunker fuel shipping operations, a dense metallic aerosol trail burning straight through the Caribbean, a conductive highway for storms to follow, a charged lattice for rotation to tighten around. Melissa rode these shipping plumes like rails laid across the sea. And a huge shout out to Shane Beal and Tracy Derwin over at Brush Junkie. That's where I got the information from the bunker fuel ships. And then the earth moved. As the storm exploded into a Category 5 monster, a 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck just north of Venezuela in the same time frame as the pressure collapse. Coincidence or a lithosphere-atmosphere coupling event triggered by rapid atmospheric mass displacement, intense global electric circuit disruption, electromagnetic agitation in a stressed fault zone. The atmosphere surged downward, the crust snapped back upward, two sides of one system, Earth responding to the storm's unnatural charge. And the Navy was waiting. Here's where every hair on your neck should stand up. A classified United States uncrewed naval vessel parked in Puerto Rico, multiple U.S. naval ships and submarines positioned just off of Hispaniola. High-frequency transmission logs from HARP show a 6.8 megahertz ocean scatter experiments in those exact same hours, ionospheric heating scheduled by HARP and actively underway by ISCAT, the European Scatter Association. So ocean scatter means using high-frequency beams to bounce signals off of the sea's surface and objects on or below it. Submarines require electromagnetic masking to operate covertly. Hurricanes provide moving environmental cover. Melissa wasn't just a storm, it was a dynamic battle space, a perfect electromagnetic camouflage curtain stretching from the ionosphere to the sea floor. In one synchronized window, we had a rapidly electrifying superstorm, a major earthquake. United States Navy Strike Group Positioning, Classified Autonomous Vessels, High Frequency Radar Experiments Targeting the Ocean, Bunker Fuel Aerosol Corridors Beneath the Core, Ionospheric Heating in the Polar Cap. Each piece would be explainable by itself, but all of them at one time, statistically impossible. What are the odds that a United States Naval Strike Group, a classified autonomous vessel, a 6.8 earthquake, metallic aerosolized shipping lanes, and electromagnetic transmissions all intersect at the exact moment a hurricane explodes into a historic catastrophe? The odds are zero. 
Tonight's video isn't about forecasting the weather for Jamaica or the hurricane. It's about testing electromagnetic dominance in a real world crisis, mapping storm, ocean, fault interactions in live fire, normalizing military occupation under humanitarian branding, using disasters as a delivery mechanism for smart city reconstruction, storm crisis, crisis installation, installation control. We've seen the blueprint we've watched it play out before. Melissa is not the end of the story, it's the beginning of the next act. When you put all these pieces together, nature didn't lose control, we took control. Melissa didn't turn toward Jamaica, she was guided. The earthquake didn't just happen, it was triggered by the system's overload. The Navy didn't just prepare for disaster, they anticipated the outcome. A weather event becomes a weapons test. A coastline becomes a geopolitical asset. A catastrophe becomes a reset opportunity. This is where the storm ends and the truth begins. All right, sky watchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.